Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy, aka Ryan Brightman. And I'm Andre, also known as Medlin. Today we're here to share the final dev update of 2023, and we're recording this on November 30th. Now, 2023 has been a memorable year for League. We started this video series to connect with you more often and learn what you care about most. And while we've still got a lot of work to do, we've also had some moments we're celebrating, like battling with a friend in Arena during Soul Fighter, rocking out to Heart Steel and New Jeans, and witnessing the most watched World's Finals ever, with T1 scoring a decisive victory on their home turf. Now, the next time you hear from us, we'll be kicking off season 2024 and sharing a lot of our plans for the year with you folks. Today though, we want to give you some end of year updates on a couple of topics. First, Split 2 ends January 9th, so you have about a month to earn your honor and ranked rewards. Season 2024 though, starts on January 10th. Now speaking of honor rewards, for those that reach the highest honor rank, this year's reward skin is three honors, Akshan. Akshan will be swinging onto the rift and distributed to honor rank five players with patch 14.2, which is in late January. You'll have to wait a little bit longer for Split 2's ranked rewards. For context, when we first announced a mid-year ranked reset, we didn't originally have a unique skin planned for Split 2. Now at that point we didn't have quite enough time to actually get a unique skin made for January, so we made the call that it was much better to do one, have it be a little bit delayed to February, uh, than to miss out on that. So you'll be seeing that in February as a result. So today we're announcing that the Split 2 ranked skin is for all you tower divers out there. Hope you love crit. <laughs> Victorious Trindamir. Or being crit. <laughs> yeah, right? More likely. Uh, he'll be spinning onto the rift with patch 14.4. One more thing we want to make sure all of you are aware of is that our minimum system requirements are being updated. Now what this means is League will no longer support Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1. This change will take effect in patch 14.4, which again is coming in February. So if you're on one of these OSs, please consider upgrading in the next month or two. These updates are critical for allowing us to continue to improve the stability and performance of League. While we want to ensure League is as accessible as possible to as many players as possible, at some point continuing to support legacy operating systems that very few players are still using heavily limits our ability to serve the vast majority of the player base. Okay, now let's talk about monetization. When we released Breakout True Damage Echo, we mentioned a broader monetization discussion coming in December. So, here to kick off that conversation are Drew Levin and Pu Liu. Hey everyone, I'm Drew, just a Capybara 11, League's Head of Business and Insights. And I'm League's Game Director, Pu Liu, aka Riot Pew Pew Lasers. Monetization isn't something we frequently talk about, so we usually focus on talking about what you care about most, gameplay updates. We last wrote in depth about our approach to monetization over seven years ago. And we know this is one of those topics that should be an ongoing conversation. So we're here to pick that up and continue it. We think the criteria we use to make decisions about monetization should be clear to all of you. For the most part, these values haven't changed. They're core to who we are. First and foremost, we care about making a great game. And while we're always working on evolving gameplay, the League experience is about so much more than a competitive game. It's about one of the greatest esports in the world, catchy songs with unforgettable music videos, passionate creators, and a thriving community that loves the world and champions of Runeterra. The player dollars you all trust us with allows us to reinvest in this and continue to grow League and keep chasing legendary dreams. Another core monetization value we have is that you can be the best League player in the world without spending anything on the game. League's monetization centers around optional cosmetics and will continue to do so. Next, as a free-to-play game that doesn't sell any gameplay power, we happily embrace the reality that the vast majority of players will never spend a single dollar in League of Legends. For a competitive game that sells cosmetics, we believe that this should be the case. For those of you who choose to spend money on League, thank you. And for everyone who invests in other ways, your time, your passion, your fandom, thank you for keeping the League community thriving. If you do decide to purchase something, whether that thing costs a little or a lot, we want to make sure that you're getting something that you're excited about. Finally, what you get out of League should reflect what's important to you. What that fundamentally means is that different people who focus on different parts of the game should have stuff that's for them. An example is like long-standing systems, such as Ranked Rewards and Champion Mastery, they're all about what players achieve through their skill and dedication. So what you earn in these systems should feel exclusive. Some things must be earned and cannot be bought. The inverse is also true. There are some things in the game that must be bought and cannot be earned. There are a bunch of systems that have been in the game for a long time, and the logic behind them and their rewards is the exact same as the logic behind our monetization systems. We're making different things for different people, and we believe it's natural that not everyone is going to buy or earn everything. 
We've got a dev blog out that goes into these values in much more depth. To us, this blog and this video are part of an ongoing conversation. When you've got some time, give it a read. Thank you for listening. We'll see you in the new year. Now back to Medler and Brightmoon to wrap us up. OK, so that's it from us in 2023. We've both really enjoyed connecting with you through these videos this year. And you can expect to keep hearing from the team regularly in 2024. But there's one more thing before we go. And you know, this year has been a bit of a whirlwind. The progress we've made as a team, and most importantly, what we've been able to deliver for you has been so rewarding. And with that, I've decided it's the right time for me to step away from my current role. I'll be passing the torch to a new executive producer in the coming months. You'll still see me in season start and possibly in some other things earlier in the year while we search for our next DP to lead the game. And unfortunately, little Nas X isn't available, but we're both really optimistic that we'll get an amazing leader and introduce you to them very soon. Working on League for the past eight years has been a dream come true, and it's been an honor to serve you in this incredible dev team. So while this is bittersweet, it's definitely not goodbye. I'll be doing some other stuff at Riot, and I look forward to reconnecting when the time is right. You'll be hearing from both of us more at season start very soon. We're wishing you all a happy, healthy holiday season, and we'll see you on the updated Rift in the new year. Thank you, and bye. <laughs>